welcome this is the energy vibration lesson uh, reading for the cancer people I want to say thank you thank you so much for this wonderful experience and this wonderful gift of you supporting my channel I want it um, I'm sending you so much love and light if this is your first time welcome to my channel and I hope you will stop by and subscribe please share these videos and please thumbs up likes and share these videos for you cancer people it's going to be a week where it's not that bad it is the week of the hamper and the week of the hamper as the energy vibration of the fire energy and the zodiac energy of also the fire so it's a full fire week it's a week of cleansing um, when we look at the week the week is going to begin from the 24th until the 30th of July and this is going to be wonderful over five days you can pick up your energy vibration reading for August okay as we look at this week and we're looking there is going to be justice for a lot of stuff and it depends on what side of the scale of justice you're on so if you did something you know that was not right then you're going to get the scale of justice coming to you there is a lot of stuff because your focus is going to be the eight of swords and eight of swords is clarity there is no clarity to certain stuff in your life you are not having clarity in certain things in your life you are not seeing clearly so be aware of whatever is going on because whatever is going on you're not seeing clearly but after the shadows of fall you are going to see clearly because whatever is happening justice is going to come out to help you to see your way through okay justice so whatever that was unclear and um, the energy vibration of justice is going to come out to make a certain aspect clear so this is going to be your focus uh, the eight of swords and the scale of justice as we look in this week and let's look and see what is going to be um, your number energy um, for this week ace of cups um, um, what is so you know really really the number one it's all about new beginnings it's it's all about new beginnings you are going to be working with so many people there is a lot of people um, that you'd be working with you cancers uh, you have the energy of the air people you have the energy of the ones people the energy of the air people and ones people the high princess is watching over you in this week so whoever you are out there be aware that your spirit guides are going to be watching over you in this week okay so it's all about the energy of the number one energy that is coming up but whatsoever is happening um, good messages are going to come out there's so many people you're working with on Monday we have the energy vibration of the knight of swords coming at you this is a hair person which is going to be an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra whoever this person is he's coming at you with some words and these words are going to cut like ice but whatever is happening to this person the tower is just going to break down there is going to be a collapse of this person and this energy that it is bringing towards you it is good there's going to be a huge collapse of a tower that is going to bring down a whole lot of stuff that has been happening sometimes you are you know your place in people life and certain situation to break down whatever that has been going on okay as we go forward and we look we have uh, um, you're having clarity on um, Tuesday about something that was been lost so whatever it is on Tuesday there is clarity about there is something that happened um, to you happening in your life and now you're finally seeing clarity and there is the sign of the three of swords which is loss a loss but you're seeing clarity finally you saw clarity okay and this is good so I don't consider things to be lost I consider that people works out whatever the situation is and it's the end and maybe you're you weren't ready for the end but it is the end and you need to move on so here you're seeing clarity you're still feeling as if it was a loss but with the loss you are having clarity 
in the middle of the week um, your energy vibration is going to be the eye princess she has not come up for anyone she is uh, um, your mother she she protects all you can says the eye princess it is uh, the energy vibration of uh, um, the protector the universal protector whenever the eye princess comes up it is that most cancers in this week is going to be protected by the guards and angels and they are going to into which within the intuition is going to send you information and this is going to be good information this is information that you can trust so most of you cancer people in this week are um, a lot of it doesn't really matter which days uh, clarity is going to finally come to you good news is going to finally come to you because once you listen to your intuition you will get that good news and whatever the information is it's going to help you to move yourself out of certain situation and let go on Thursday it's going to be a wonderful day a water day which is a good day so you have a uh, Wednesday and Thursday the water days so Wednesday and Thursdays are going to be uh, and uh, Wednesday Thursday and Saturdays are going to be your best day Wednesday Thursday and Saturday are going to be your best day look at this energy this is the universal angel sending you love because the day before you have the eye princess and here whatever has been happening on this hurt atmosphere the universal angels and guides are sending you love and you're going to get a message of love and this is going to be a love of humanity it's going to be people sending you and letting you know that you know love we really really appreciate you for who you are so you know whenever the ace of cup comes up it's new love coming in your life it's a message from someone of new love coming in your life and this is going to be a wonderful wonderful um, situation this is going to be extremely good this is going to be a wonderful situation that is coming in your life on Friday we have the Queen of Wands and a lot of you water people seems to be having situation with the Queen of Wands because she's showing up this is the second water reading I'm doing and she's showing up in um, in your life so whatever the situation is you need to understand that this queen this queen is actually coming up um, and she has to do something and you're walking away from this person it's the second time you know I'm seeing this for water people whoever this queen is it can be an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius woman and whatever it is you're walking away from this woman and this is in a relationship because the it's as if the um, you water people have seen that you know the fire and water sign whatever is going on between you guys whatever is there um, it's as if you no longer want this situation in your life this woman you're walking away from this woman if you're a man or if you're a same sex this relationship is not fulfilling you anymore you're walking away from this fire woman so whatever is happening there you water people seems to be walking away from these fire people as we move on on Saturday we have the energy vibration of the page of cup and this is another wonderful message because the page of cup is not only bringing you love it's bringing you money and here you see the nine of Pentacles so whatever is happening and this um, this message with the page of cups but money is coming behind it is a good message because people are really really appreciating you for who you are and what you're doing for them and it's as if you know if you are just helping people in the, the sense and not really understanding that people are now showing you how much they appreciate you people are going to be um, supporting you by sending you you know this uh, these uh, sort of a situation in your life where money will be coming uh, to you and a lot of money will be coming to you so this is wonderful this is good news actually so whatever is happening because in the middle of the week and the eye uh, princess is crowning you that um, good news is coming in and the page of cups is here bringing you the nine of Pentacles so this is good the page of cups is always bringing love but in this week it's going to bring you 
not only love but money too and this is going to be profoundly wonderful okay so this is going to be good as we look forward we have the energy vibration of the four of cups in reverse and this is good because whoever this queen of ones is you know you have no regrets that you have made the decision to move away from her so obviously there is something going on with you cancers and whoever you cancers are it could be a man who is the, 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 the king of ones or it could be a woman who is the king of ones but whoever this person is you have absolutely no regret that you're moving away from this woman you have made the best decision whatever lesson whatever karmatic situation it was whatever lesson it was you have made the right lessons to move away from this person and by you making the right lesson a message to move away from this person you are going to see how much your life is going to change there's a message for people who have kids. If you have kids and they are um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, um, be aware, be open to them, show them love, open up yourself to them, and let them know that they're loved by you. So if you are a parent of a child that is an Aries, um, a Leo or a Sagittarius be aware open up yourself to them let them know that you really really truly love them if you have a child that is of the same water sign which is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion please realize that this child is going to be something um, it's going to bring something positive in your life and this child is going to bring a positive sense of love but yet still money so maybe the style is of an handicap and uh, you know somehow the governments are going to help you uh, with this child don't put the child out of the house keep the child in the house because by doing that this child is going to bring you the financial abundance that you need to protect this child okay because most of the time people have these um um handicapped kids and they put them in a house that, that's you know seriously um there is a reason why you get these kids okay and sometimes whenever they're placed out of their own environment out of their own houses um, you know they end up um, to be felt left out in the coal and honestly you have chosen to bring forth a life in this world and by protecting this life you know it's your choice I can't tell people what to do but the best thing to do is to keep these kids so if this child if you have a child and it's a handicapped child do not place them out of the house by asking for help from the governments they will help you to support this child and by keeping this child at home you can give this child a better life um, in whatever way it is okay if you have a normal child that is um, the energy of a Pisces a, a, cancer or a scorpion um, realize that this child for some reason it's going to it's going to attract the energy vibration of money that is going to come in your life and this is going to help you whatever the situation is with these fire sign people and you need to to let go and walk away do that because it is the best way to heal whatever situation is is I am seeing the king of Pentacles walk away from him the king of wands walk away from him whatever the relationship was whatever the situation is it is over in the first half of the week as I look at the first half of the week you are getting clarity because your focus was that you weren't um, you weren't seeing clearly but in the first half of the week you're seeing you're having clarity and someone someone who is between the ages of 18 and 20 and 35 is going to come at you on Monday with you know words and it's going to beat through you and that sort of a thing and listen you don't really have to you know you don't have something to say to the person just listen and whatever it is the child there has to do with a child so if you are the people who are having relationship with an air sign person an Aries a Gemini of a, Lib a Libra and there is a situation with this child it's as if there's a divorce and he has to pay um, pay alimentation or child support 
you will get that money for that child support so let's say you're a cancer person you have a child with an air person a Harris a Libra or a Gemini and you had to take him to court because obviously it has to do with something with court because the energy of justice is right over it and you took them to court for child support you will receive that child support whatever it is you will receive that child support as we look forward and we're looking at the second half of the week it's all about love it's just about everyone lives is going to be touched by love and this is going to be the universal love it's not love that is coming from someone from the hurt it's going to be a universal love which the universe is going to send certain people and certain messages in your life to let you know that you're being loved and appreciated for what you're doing whatever the information is whatever the situation is with the the king or the queen of wands which is a fire sign Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius and you need to release that situation release it because you will be releasing the situation and by releasing the situation you're not going to have regrets you're going to be happy that you release this person okay so it's as if you had a business partner that was an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius it was working out and you're releasing them and you're thinking I you know I can go on my own I can do this on my own I really don't need these people you know release them because you no longer need these people okay and this is going to be extremely good because this is going to be a positive uh, situation that is happening and this is going to be coming up and you're going to see positive energies and positive situation after you release these people good news is going to be here but the news is going to come from via your intuition your guides and angels are going to send you messages that is going to help you love is going to be profoundly wonderful each and every person each and every cancer's life will be touched by love and this love is going to be a wonderful positive endeavor that is going to help you to heal your life in whatever way there is going to be a new birth of situations coming in your life so love a new birth uh, um, and it is more about uh, and being justified from a situation that you weren't seeing clearly and whatever that situation is money is going to be coming in your life whoever these fire peoples are if the lesson has been learned and they need to be let go let them go because it's time for them to go okay as we move on we're looking at what the message from the universe has for you but there's a message from the universe have for you let me say I gotta find my glasses okay message from the universe what does the message from the universe I'm taking these cards upside and down the whole time okay you know um, posse fabulous wealth creating a lot of responsibility emotional responsibility huge something to think about really like for five minutes a day in a dark and quiet room see yourself being really really responsible with famous wealth fame and wealth I think you're up to it so whoever you are out there and whatever is going on in your life you just take five minutes of the day in a dark and quiet room to see yourself and bring new reality and new responsibility of fabulous wealth in your life and this is going to be good this is one of the most beautiful beautiful card ever okay all right the next energy that we have here that we're working with is the energy of the E which is wonderful and let's see what the cancers have with the energies of the E let's see what the cancers have with energy of the E knock 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 <laughs> I'm sorry I so love these cards they're so funny <laughs> they are extremely funny okay not 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 I, I don't I can't record having not 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 but let's see what not 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 have no you aren't hearing things the universe is sending you signs guidance divine messages probably even neuron billboard couldn't be a better time to answer the door and say who's coming in not 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 so this is good so no you are airing things the universe is sending you signs guidance divine messages probably even neurons billboard couldn't be a better time to answer the door and see who is 
who is coming and knock 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 and this is wonderful <laughs> this is extremely wonderful so here you are with the two last cards I will hold them up for a while so you can see them this is your message not not knock so here again and I you know I want to thank my guides and angels whenever I'm giving these readings that's why I always try to be alone and only vibrating with my energy vibration and my guides and angels because as I said the crowning of your week was the eye princess and good messages will be coming out and here it is knock 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 is saying to you yes you're airing it correctly the universe is speaking to you via your intuition and your guides and your things so this is just so wonderful I love these cards because they always just finish off the reading in a good way I want to say thank you for being here and we'll speak next day next namaste